church family. This is Sherilyn, your church treasurer, and Mary, your financial secretary. And we are here to offer you words of comfort and encouragement. No matter what, just remember, we are still the church. Whether we meet in a building or we have services on Wi-Fi, we are still the church. Our mission is still the same, even though the circumstances have changed. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, you alone are Lord. Be with us now in this time of disruption. Help us not panic, but remember, no matter what, you are the one true God. We will be with you come rain or shine, and you will be with us. Amen. Amen. The Bible is full of stories of disruption. We all know that, especially in the Old Testament. Where do we go when we're worried or anxious? We go to the Word of God. On TV this week, I noticed that um, they have some really good encouraging sayings like, we are in this together, and all kinds of different stars and people that we know are saying, we are in this together. And then we saw one yesterday, uh, Dave noticed, and it said, hope is not canceled. And I thought, yeah, we both thought that was just really cool. Um, Mary and I would like to extend our thanks for those of you who continue to support our church through your gives, giving of tithes and offerings. There are many ways to give, and Pastor has posted those in the emails if you would like to check them out. We have PayPal on the website and all different ways to give. And uh, we just recently thought of a really fun way to give, and I think next Sunday being Palm Sunday, and the following Sunday being Easter, Mary and I are going to host a give-a-thon in the parking lot. And we will be out there with our little baskets and maybe bunny ears, who knows. <laughs> and we will be out there with our gloves on and baskets and just uh, be able to take whatever tithes and offerings that you can bring us. And we will even give you a roll of toilet paper in return if you need it. So we will have some toilet paper there, and we can hand you one or just throw it in the back seat of your car, whatever's more comfortable for you. Um, and Russ will be there watching us to make sure we are safe. And um, we'll be collecting any donations. Um, we will even take uh, um, prayers, um, needs, whatever you want to put on a piece of paper and give us and make sure those get to the right people. and. Um, no need to get out of your car. Just drive through and say hi and uh, get your roll of toilet paper if you need it. And um, just remember, uh, a generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. That is Proverbs 11.25. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, even this time, Having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. 2 Corinthians 9, 8. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be enough room to store it. Malachi 3, 10. This is the word of God for the people of God. Supplies will likely level out at some point soon as manufacturing has stepped up. We saw this also on a commercial, a toilet paper commercial, where they said they're ramping up production, so that's awesome. Um, there are several of us that are still out there working. We have to go to work, including myself. I'm not able to work from home. Um, Russ is still going to work, and so just please keep us in your prayers. I know that God has put a special hedge of protection for those of us that have to go to work. Um, I just want you to know that Mary is checking the mailbox two or three times a day to make sure that we're getting our bills and we're getting um, your donations and the building is cared for and locked and everything's secure and nothing, nothing bad is going on. So we are checking constantly. Um, the trustees are over here checking. Uh, Greg and Russ are checking, so we, we do have comfort in knowing that everything is going well. And so we just want to thank you for watching this, and we hope to see you next Sunday so we can 
say hi and um, just see your smiling faces and just remember, regardless, we are a family and God is here with us and for us. In Jesus' name.